does Qualcomm want to be the brain of a lot of autonomous vehicles in the future of different, you said brands, like Mercedes, BMW, I don't know, whatever, just whatever car, you know, cars have the the sexy thing they do and then it defines their brand and so so on. And then there's the brain that doesn't need to have branding, suppose, you know. So does Qualcomm see that or will I be able to buy a Qualcomm car? Like uh, literally- it'll No, you're not gonna be able to buy a Qualcomm car, but uh, we already, we already uh, on our way to become, you know, the brains of the, the car. Brain. The way you should think about Qualcomm automotive strategy is the car companies realize they need to become technology companies. You just look, for example, yes. of the market cap of some of the new uh, uh, electrical uh, comers and compare them with with the legacy uh, car companies. Which so the, one is that? I, I heard of... Is it, is it, well, let's just use an example. One of them lives in Austin. Uh, let's say Rivian, right? Uh, Rivian. <laughs> oh, that one too, yes. You know, the car companies are not going away. It's actually a mistake not to bet in the car companies. Uh, the car companies need a technology partner uh, that will provide the digital chassis for them. And that's what we're doing. So if you look at Qualcomm, we talk about a Snapdragon digital chassis. So... We want to be the preferred technology partner of the car companies, and I think it's working. The strategy is working right now. So basically, helping company the car companies accelerate into this, into becoming technology companies, connecting the car to the cloud, redesign the interior of the digital cockpit experience, and provide the computation and sensor capabilities for autonomy and assisted driving. 